today we will see the subject drug store and business management study aids to trade in the first chapter that is introduction the aids to trade means activities revolving around trade these activities help in smooth functioning of trade these activities are banking transport warehousing packaging insurance and advertising and publicity banks are the backbone of business they remove the hindrances of finance the business units involved in large scale production require finance the finance or capital is the life blood of any business the banking system provides following services to its customers it provides loans and advances for purchase of raw materials and machinery it provides overdraft facility it allows facility of discounting of bills and it acts as an agent for collection of checks bills and dividends the transport system removes hindrances of place it helps trade by moving goods from the place of production to the place of selling the geographical barriers between producers and consumers have disappeared because of the transport system transportation increases the supply of goods to the places of high demand this helps in maintaining the prices of the essential goods at a reasonable level the pharmaceutical industries are placed or situated in places where the raw materials are available labor is available place of transport is available then the climatic conditions are favorable after production of drugs these must reach the consumers fast so that there is no deterioration of the drugs the modes of transport available are surface transport air transport and water transport that is railways roadways airplanes and boats and ship warehousing removes hindrance of time warehouses are the places where goods are stored storage is the process of holding the goods or keeping the goods or preserving the goods so that it can be used at a later date then the process of storage is done in a large scale or in a specialized manner then it is termed as warehousing storage facility or warehouses are of three types private warehouses public warehouses and bonded warehouses private warehouses are owned by big business houses or wholesalers in order to store their own goods the public warehouses these are operated by business houses for general public that is the people can go and keep their goods for storage for a certain amount of time and they will be charged for the same the bonded warehouses are licensed to receive goods which are imported from other countries and they are stored there till the custom due customs that is custom duties are paid for the goods after that only they can be removed out of the bonded warehouses storage of goods or warehousing is necessary in order to maintain stability in prices then ensure availability of goods throughout the year that is when oranges oranges are available in that season orange tincture is prepared and the orange tincture is kept and it can be stored throughout the year it can be then sold also throughout the year then comes the time gap between production and sale the time of production and the sale there is a time gap between it that can be overcome by warehousing 
that is whenever there is requirement from the storage the product can be removed and sold then to maintain stock reserve that is there should not be any dearth in the stock of the product in order to do that the storage of the product is important there should not be any delay in supply this warehousing helps in eliminating the delay then there are certain products like drugs chemicals perishable items like vegetables fruits which are required to be stored in a proper manner in order to prevent damage to the product packaging removes hindrance of risk of spoilage the pack word packaging and packing are slightly different packing means wrapping filling crating whereas packaging means it involves creation and designing of proper package for different products the pharmaceuticals which are to be used should be suitably packed so that they retain their therapeutic effectiveness from the time of the production to the time of their consumption also there is a requirement according to the law that is the drugs and cosmetics act 9 and rules 1945 for the proper packaging of the pharmaceuticals packaging also helps in identification of the product easy handling of the product also it does not allow the spilling of the product or spoilage of the product the packaging provides products in right quantity right quality as well as right weight to the consumer insurance removes hindrance of risk risks are of different types that is natural calamities market trends changing government policies creditors that the first type that is natural calamity consists of either earthquake drought floods lightning and they cause a lot of loss market trends include the changes in fashion or changes in requirement by the people changing government policies that means the government may change the taxes on various products because of that the risk may arise and creditors risk include the non payment by the creditors so each of these risks can be ensured the insurance are of four types life insurance fire insurance transport or marine insurance and general insurance life insurance means the payment of stipulated sum of money to insured person or expiry of specified number of years or on early expiry fire insurance includes payment equal to the number of goods or value of goods that is lost in accidental fire the transport insurance or the marine insurance this covers the risk involved in transport during road transport or mainly it is involved with ship transport that is marine transport so the passengers as well as the cargo can be insured through this insurance the general insurance covers any other risk that may cause loss to the product or to persons the insurance is usually covered because by help of the payment of aids to trade includes advertising and publicity the advertising and publicity removes hindrance of knowledge advertising and publicity has the objective or aim to create sustain and increase the demand of the product the advertising and publicity can be undertaken by radio television newspapers magazines posters pamphlets free samples sign boards window display trade fairs and exhibitions 
there are many other methods of undertaking the advertising as well. In case of pharmaceutical products, the direct advertisement of the ethical pharmaceutical products is prohibited according to law. That is, the Drugs and Magic Remedies Objectionable Advertisements Act. According to this act, the medicines which require prescription cannot be directly advertised. The general or the home remedy or the medicines which do not require prescriptions can be advertised directly. This includes maybe Vicks Vaporub or creams, ointments, then antiseptic creams, pain balms. These can be directly advertised. This is about the aids to trade or the agents which help in trade. 